Hi everyone, it's Gail, and I am here with Marguerite Miller today, and uh, I'm going to show you some things I completed over the weekend, and show you the fabric paper cover that we did on Monday, and then I have a project to decorate some pockets. So that's that's what's on tap for today. Let's let's get started with high and hugs to Charlotte. Lala Gamma, Lori, uh, Eugenia, and Carrie. Thank you so much for watching and your always kind comments. Okay, let's get started. So I have I have something that's going to kind of take the place of several things. But one thing we needed was graph paper. So I have some graph paper here. Um, something crooked. I'm going to use this, um, Rick Rack and then fabric. I'm going to use this little fabric, something sweet. This bear has his paw in a honey jar and then, um, something you hold in your hand. I have these, these pumpkins cause it is the week of Halloween after all. Um, and then let's see what else does. Oh, a place. So I thought the porch could be a place. So let's get started. Get the sleeves rolled up. Get the glue book. Get the glue. And let's let's get it going. Um, this one, I'm just, I'm thinking I'm going to use quite, quite a lot of it. So I don't think, I'm just going to tear this. I don't think I need to cover the whole page with the graph paper. I'm a little stingy on that graph paper, I guess, because I really like it. <laughs> okay, let's just kind of tear around the puppy. Originally, I was thinking something sweet could be the puppy and the kitties, you know, and the children. I mean, what's sweeter than pets and children? Yeah, so that's going to go there. So I only really need half of a thing of graph paper for there. And then these children are holding things in their hands too. So I thought maybe we'd use that as well. I don't know how the random bear in the, with his hand in the honey jar comes in, but, <laughs> but we're going to use it. Um, okay, okay, so I think do I want to use, I think I'll use orange over here. Okay, get this, get this party started. <laughs> oh, I sent my daughter over, um, over the weekend, I sent my daughter in, um, Denver, uh, I sent her, um, a picture from Addie's Volleyball. Well, it was actually a video because their, one of their warm up songs is Let's Get It Started. And that was the song that my daughter and her husband had at their reception. So like their wedding reception. So like they walked in dancing them and the wedding party to let's get it started. And so I sent her this video and I said, every, every time I watch Addie play volleyball, it reminds me of you and your husband. And she wrote back, what? I don't get it. <laughs> I said, well, it's the song. It's, you know, it's, let's get it started. And she's like, oh, I didn't have my sound on. <laughs> so, so that little trip down memory lane kind of took a wrong turn somewhere. I was like, okay. Oh, but, um, yeah. Oh, that'll be interesting. Cause yeah, you can kind of see the text through that. So that's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, so anyway, that was kind of funny. Oh, d goodness. Um, 
Yeah, so I had to get my video done because I have a little lunch today with my friend Sandra, the one who's moving next door-ish, a door away. Yeah, we had planned this lunch before she bought the house, so this will be good. I haven't, I mean, we haven't, other than my quick little trip over to her house that day, we really haven't had a chance to visit in a long time. Not since we had coffee when they lived in Bozeman. Okay, I'm going to put that there. I know that. I don't know what else I'm doing. <laughs> oh, really? Oh. Just going to kind of see what happens here. So, <clears throat> don't know where we're going to go. I was trying to think, what am I in the in the mood for? I have no idea. No idea. I'm hungry, though. I could eat, as they say. I could definitely eat. Okay, there we go. Okay. Well, I didn't get the corners very well. Yeah, that's better. The doggy's nose pasted down. Did I get that okay? Yeah. Okay. Now this side, maybe I'll use the green on this side, just for fun. So yeah, I had a great weekend. Saturday we went to Addie's Volleyball, so another little road trip. Nana and Pa, the road warriors that we are, and um, they won, which was exciting. Um, gosh, Addie played so well. That girl, she's just my hero. I mean, it's like when her team is kind of in a slump or something and the, you know, momentum's not going their way, she ends up doing something amazing and it gets them on a roll again. And yeah, she's a really good, really good leader for that team, I feel like. So, and then it was so cool because it was um, senior night. And I think I told you last year, um, new high school. So that explains some of it. But um, let's see here. I'm going to need to go pretty much all the way. Um, it was senior night. And so anyway, last year, last year, the class was all juniors. And Addie was a freshman. So, um, so you know, <laughs> Addie was obviously, you know, the youngest of, of them all and everything. And um, But they were all very welcoming and kind to her and everything. And, I mean, why wouldn't they be? She's really good at what she does. <laughs> okay, where's my... So anyway, um, Addie made them all. I'm so proud of her. She was so crafty. Um, she made them all volleyballs that had pictures decoupaged onto the volleyball. And each one, she made one for each girl. And I don't know, there was like six seniors or something. And she made one for each girl. And then... So, you know, included pictures of herself and that girl in that particular girl's volleyball. And then wrote them each a note about why they, in particular, were special to her. And, um, oh, let's do that. Let's just do that. And then it's covered for sure. Um, yeah, so, so she did that, and that was, I thought that was super sweet of her. And um, they had all these, the parents had made boards with all the girls' pictures, and they had tables set up and the um, big boards that the 
girls' parents made with pictures of them since they were little girls on um, on there. And then Addie's ball was sitting there. And then they had like a, what would you call it? A, a guest book type of thing where you could leave the girls a note or whatever. It was just really nicely done. And um, so, yeah, but I was super proud of Addie for being so crafty and making them all keepsake volleyballs. I thought that was a really cool idea. So, yeah, so that was fun on Saturday. And then Sunday was my usual laundry. And I did a couple things in the craft room. I did a I did an Etsy share, which you may have seen, and then I did a Patreon video. So, okay, so we got that all covered. Now, now, what are we going to do with the fabric is the question. Okay, well, we need to get, we need to have this one. So, maybe that's all we need is just this one. And I think, I think I might let that hang down a little I think I'm gonna cut it right on this line. And then I'll cut it right here. Yeah, so that one we need for sure. <laughs> Does not go with <laughs> anything. But maybe if we put another one over here, it'll somehow see if any of these are. Oh, here they're gathering the honey. That one would that one would be good. Okay. I have been when you know when I'm working in my craft room, off camera. I have been sorting my fabric and trying to get a grip. The fabric was sort of taking over my life in my craft room. So I needed to, I needed to clear out a bit. So, um, once I get that done, I'll let you know, but, um, I'm thinking I'll put some packs in my, in my Etsy just to, maybe I'll leave that kind of off the corner like that. I'm going to make this like maybe both of them like a fabric flip because I like those <laughs> no other reason than that um okay so and then and then I've got the Rick Rack to go oh my well I don't know um Part of me, I want, okay, here's what I'm going to do. I am going to cut this fabric right along here. Gosh, my hands are shaky this morning. Okay. And then I just want the brown piece here. So I'm going to cut along here. Okay, um, I think I'll put this across here, maybe. All right, I don't know. Part of it is having things that take two categories. I don't know, I don't feel like I necessarily have enough stuff for this, but it's okay. We're gonna, we can add some things too, couldn't we? Okay, I do think I'll put some of this Rick Rack right here okay i'll put that there um and i could put could like put this down this side Okay, this is helping. Just on this side, right there. OK. 
okay. And then I was thinking of maybe putting a little right across there. Okay, so my husband's cleaning out our gutters, which he's not going up high on a ladder, but he's still on a ladder. It makes me nervous. I said, be careful. I'm not even up there to know if you fall. Ugh, men. I realize I do my stuff in my craft room without him around, but unless I cut off a finger, <laughs> there's not a lot of chance of injury. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. All right. So there's that. Then I'm going to need a label or something there, but we'll figure that out in a minute. Okay. So I think... I would really like to use art glitter glue just because I don't want it to be super thick. So let's see if we can get that to work rather than. So anyway, I say in my Sunday and then I did, what did I say? I did laundry. I, you know, changed out bedding, that stuff. And then did a couple things in my craft room, which I will show you. Then I did, I, I redid my fingernails, which I have been kind of enjoying playing with them. Okay, so now this, we'll see if this is going to fit. It's hard to see which is, I guess it doesn't really matter. I think I'll go here. Okay. I'm just going to Give it a good amount on both sides. See if we do okay here. I know it will hold down the fabric. I just don't know about this. But I also don't want to mess around with Fabri-Tac. I'm not in the Fabri-Tac kind of mood today. <laughs> it's kind of a gloomy day today, cloudy. We're supposed to get some moisture. Not so far. I hope everyone in California is doing well. I watched the news last night and it sounds like they're getting pretty hit with a major um, major moisture there. And always worry in California about mudslides. At least that's the, you know, that's what's reported up here. Okay, I'm just going to leave those hanging out a little bit because I do like that. And this book is so fun because there's all sorts of stuff hanging out the sides of it. Sides and bottom and everything. Okay, so there's that. What did I do with the little, here it is. Okay, so then a label or something. I was going to put that there. Okay. Ode to Halloween. Um, in my, not that one that one. Do I have a label that would go right there? I think that's fine. I think that's just fine. <clears throat> Doesn't say anything, but it's going to in a minute here. I'm going to write something on it. A little bit of it's under there. It's kind of the same color as the doggy. Okay, let me get, get my pen here, my 
my marker pen and I'm just gonna say happy Halloween okay happy Halloween there and over here I'm gonna say boo slightly thicker oh I have news too my son um, emailed me the other day and he has he's done the design for high and hugs in the merch line so I'll let you know but that should be coming out pretty soon here Okay, done and done. <laughs> oh, a little tribute to Halloween there. Okay, okay, we're going to call that done. Thank you, Marguerite Miller. All right, so, oh, speaking of this, I had a, a question about the Christmas one that I showed in the Etsy share. And it's every day, so I won't be filming that. What I'm going to do, I think, through December is when I do one of these, I'll I'll just flip through and show you the Christmas one too, okay? Okay, so there is that. We're going to set this aside. Gosh, I don't know where. Um, Right here. Okay. And let's do a little show and tell first. So first of all, this is the um, the cover for the fabric paper cover that we did in um, on camera, and um, I've had lots of questions about what can, what all you can use. And apparently, I didn't finish my thought on the book pages. For me, book pages made it too stiff. It's like stiff. What I like about this is look how flexible it is. It's super strong, and I've put corners on it. It's super strong, but it's flexible. And so if my, if my signature gets chubby, which they tend to do, it's going to wrap around it like that. So there's that. I was excited about that. Um, what else did I do? Oh, yeah, I... I got this one on the road. This is um, this is oh yo ah uh, paper baker creations. I think paper baker creations. This is a padded heart from my friend Michelle, the Padded Heart Company on Etsy. Um, she's she has been in the process of moving, so I don't know if she's open right now, but. Anyway, and then this is the Paper Baker um, Digital, and I just got the, I got the signature sewn in. So, got the cover made, got the signature sewn in. So, that one's coming along. Um, the other thing I did is this little cover. This is made out of a box. And I know what I'm gonna do with it, what I'm gonna do with it, but I'm not gonna do it until after I've sewn in. I think this is gonna be three signatures and this is my Joey card maker one. And I am gonna put this fringe there and this fringe here like so. And I've already put in the eyelets and I put this on. This will say whatever, Merry Christmas. Might say Nutcracker. I don't know. So there we go. So I kind of got an idea of what I want to do with that one. So I felt pretty good like I was getting a few, a few things on the road 
that I'm not doing the full full um, showing of. Okay, so I'm going to set those over there. Okay, so what I've got is I've got some pockets that I want to um, that I want to decorate, and I did these over on Patreon. Um, again, I I need to. I need to save some things for my patrons and um, my Patreon. You can, you can join my Patreon at various levels. There's three levels. The, uh, and you get more benefits as your support increases, but it starts at $3 a month. So, and there's, there's probably 70 videos over there that I don't do on YouTube. So, I save I save some special things for them, but I want to decorate these. So I thought I would look. Let's see here. I have my um. Uh, let's see where are they? Okay, right here. I have all my stuff for uh for my vintage Christmas joy from a jewel design, and as well, I cut up everything that um I showed at the last. Etsy share, which was labels and definitions and words and stuff. So um, I want to make one that goes with that. And I am thinking either this one or this one. I'm sort of leaning toward that for that. I don't know. I think I'm going to go this one. So this has a pocket here, a pocket here, has a pocket in the back. So uh, you can put something in there. And if you put it on so that you glue here and here and put a dot here, you could also put something behind there. So, but we're in decorating mode just now. So let's see what, what we might have that could be fun on this. That goes this way, okay. Um, look at this. Oh, Santa, you're so adorable. Yes, I think I'm gonna think I'm gonna do that. I might put it up there and put lace here and lace here. That's what's kind of calling to me. I might do a little bit of inking. I'm just gonna go kind of around the edge of this. I think it will pop out even more. I'm trying to do it lightly. So anyway, yeah, I think that was, that was the extent of what I got done on the weekend, but I did feel good to get those covers going. Um, I still have the cover for this journal for the a jewel design journal to do, but I know what I'm going to do, but I kind of want to do it on camera. So I think, I don't know, maybe for next Monday, I'll do that. Okay. I'm just going to give this a little around the corner. Just make it look a little more vintagey than it does at the current moment. So, yeah, oops. So, yeah, that's that's what I was up to this weekend. Yeah, I had to do a Patreon vi video, I felt, because I've, with volleyball season and all, I've kind of, I had fallen off. And Patreon was having a problem with its app. And so people couldn't use the app to watch the video. They had to go in through you know, like through the browser, through Google or whatever. And um, so that was kind of a pain and disheartening. So I kind of let my videos go a little bit. Now, this is heavy paper. And so it's tending to flip up. So I might, let's see where it is. I might... Put, I might put um, magnets on there. I think I'm going to because I don't 
one. And this one. Um, let's put them together. And then see if I can fiddle around and get the things off them. Oh, I can. I want to leave the sticky gale. Fiddly much? A little fiddly. And the... There we go. I don't want to peel the dots off is the thing. Okay, I'm just going to put that right there. I think this will be okay. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Okay, yeah, yeah, so that's flipping out. Now I just need to do this one, and I think it will stay down better. And these were sent to me, so basic gray, 20 magnet discs. Self-adhesive, super slim, seriously strong. So... Um, if that helps, I've found I'm getting lots of questions. I'm not explaining supplies as well as I need to in order to not get a lot of questions. <laughs> so, you know, it's totally fine to ask the questions. It's just like, gosh, I think I've been doing this too long. I assume people know things that I shouldn't assume. You know what they say about assuming? I'm not going to say it on camera. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Those are smooshed down. I think that was good. These that are a lighter paper are just fine. They lay flat on their own, but this is kind of wanting to pop up okay so let's put i'm just i'm not going to put any backing i like the like book page or anything i like having the pattern show through of the paper get a few so I should say too in case anyone is interested my patreon name is just Gail Augustinelli as well okay let's I'm looking for some looking for some tiny lace maybe I need to sort out my lace bin as well because I can't can't find anything. It's all it's all jumbled up. Whoops. Okay, let's see this. I just wanted a a thin little lace. Yep, I like that. It's good. And I think I'll cut another one. I don't know, I might do three. I might do one at the bottom too. That'd be cute. Can't have too much lace. Just ask my friend Lorette. <laughs> I'm I'm channeling you, Lorette. <laughs> more lace? Yes, please. Let's have more lace. Okay, let's see. So, so I'm excited to go pick up my friend because she's renting a house. I think I told you this, um, of a guy who is a, is a famous artist in our area. 
I think he and his wife have passed away now, but um, I bet their house is really cool. It's up in the West Side Mansion District. Not new mansions, old mansions from the Gold Rush days. So I think it'll be fun to see, see that. So do I want that there? I think I do. Yes, I do. So my friend Sandra has two dogs, her, theirs, and her son is going to law school, so they have his dog. And I'm excited about that because I'll have, I can get my dog fixed close by. <laughs> so, kind of rounding that just a bit. This one not. Okay. Okay, well, there's that one. That's happy. I like him. Who doesn't like Santa? Really? That person is just sad. <laughs> okay, so there's that. It's going to open here. It's going to open here and clip down. Okay, very happy with that. Let's go um, to this one. Let me get that. I'm just grabbing the thing of ephemera. We didn't use these, but I'll put those. With that, I might need a word, who knows. Okay, let's see what we can do with this. And it's more maroony. So I was wondering about this one for this. Is that too red, do you think? Well, there's some red in here. Okay, let's just see what we might have to work with. And this is the Paper Baker Creations kit, and it's Holly Spirit. Good job, Gail. <laughs> but, ooh, look at this. Oh, isn't that cute? Okay. Easy peasy. Hmm. Oh, I'm just deciding, do I want anything else? That's fun. That's fun. Here's a green one. That's there. Ooh, I just had a thought. What if I put this on as a pocket? Because then you could tuck a couple little tickets or something in there. That'd be cute. I think that'd be cute. This here. Just kind of looking to see what else there is. Um, wondering about a word. A word there, maybe? Feeling like I like this color best. I think. Okay. Well, I'm going to go for it. I'm not going to really worry about, well, maybe a little bit. Let me see. Yeah, some of the white kind of shows. So I will do that. Oh, my husband's back in. No ladder difficulties, it sounds like. Gosh, we had such a wind last night that it blew one of the shutters off our house. So after I get done here, I need to help Mike get that back up. It's like, oh my gosh. We we heard it. I mean, it was before we went to bed and I was like, oh my gosh. Listen to the wind. And... um. We have our patio furniture under a tarp, and we just put 
wood logs on it to, let's see. It doesn't matter. Put it where you want, Gail. Um, yeah, so, so anyway, see, that's a little pocket right there. That'll be good. Anyway, yeah, we're watching a movie and all of a sudden the, um, logs started blowing all over the place. So it was lifting the tarp and flipping the logs. And I'm like, oh my goodness. But as far as I know, of course, now a lot of the leaves are off the trees now, which it's been such a gorgeous fall and a long fall for us. Usually we get snow that ends it a little quicker, but um, it's it's just been so fun. Mike and I have so enjoyed our driving all over the state for Addie's Volleyball because it's just been such a gorgeous fall. And a lot of the places we go are along a river. Pretty much, pretty much everywhere has a river. Yeah, I think I'm going to put that joyful there. Do I want anything behind it? Put that like right in there. And then that. Yep, that's it. That's what we want. I'm going to straighten this edge off a little bit, too. It's kind of crooked. Okay. Alrighty, then. Let's just do this right in the... Let's see. Right below. There. that. Oops. Stay. <laughs> Stay stuck. Okay. And then this will just glue middle-ish of the flap there. There. Okay. Did that one. Okay, super cute. And then like these could go. We could put a couple of those in there. We could put like this. Okay, what else? Something a little smaller. This would be kind of pretty. Yeah. Those all could go in there. In there. I think I'd put more like a, a piece of coffee dyed paper or something in there. Or possibly like a journal card. Like that. Ooh, that is the exact right size. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave this out so that I can um, distress ink those pieces. Do we have something that could go? There's something. what else, if anything. Ooh, here's a ticket. That's what I was hoping for. Was a ticket. On some of these, I, um, let's see if it's going to fit first. 
if I really lay it over, it fits. Okay, um, just a little trick to show you on tickets. If you don't want to cut out the edges, sometimes uh, like just a little hole punch will do it like that. So I'm going to put that kind of sideways there. Okay. Well, that one's all filled except for this side, which we could do. Let's just do this thing. Um, That's nice. But I already have that design in here with this. So do we have something that's this size that it's probably too long? No. Oh, that's gonna fit. Yes. It's a little fiddly to get in and out, but gonna fit I think yep okay not only did we get that decorated we got it filled too should have maybe done that on the other one okay so there's the one to go with paper baker creations holiday what was it holiday something anyway I told you earlier <laughs> okay so that one goes here what we can do for this one for Joey Cardmaker Nutcracker. Okay. So, got a piece of doily in here from something else. That's interesting with the pink, isn't it? Hmm. This kit, though, is a lot of different colors. Oh, you could put a little tab on those. That would be kind of something fun. I think... I think I want to do that just for something different. Don't know if I have time to get this one all the way done, but we'll give it a whirl. Okay, and the way that I do tabs is I just cut along the edges like that, leaving this middle part, and then when I fold them, I'm going to cut that just so they're so they're the same size. I think that might be cute and then let's see if we can find something to Decorate the flap with. I don't know that I want the pink doily. I'm not convinced of that yet. Gosh, what am I hungry for? I hope Sandra has an idea. I feel like I always want the same thing. I really like Mexican food. So that's what I always want is to go to a Mexican restaurant. <laughs> But I feel like I'm in a rut with that. Like that. Let's do that. That would be fun. Um, not going to worry about distressing just because I don't know. I haven't really begun this journal yet, so I don't know. Some stuff will be distressed for sure, but...
now that I look at it, I probably do want it distressed because of the little white edges where I didn't quite get it. Try and get it somewhat centered. Oh, you know how it is with art glitter glue. That's how it's going to be. <laughs> okay, so I know I have words from Joey. Ooh, yes, I have these. I feel like these tabs kind of take care of this bottom part. Um, sorry, looking at this. I have these that are like the right size, but the wrong way. <laughs> Stamps. Oh, I love this. I got to use that on something for sure. I've got a nutcracker. Ooh, Merry Christmas. I mean, that could work, but it's just a little bit big. Okay, and I've got candies that are too small. Hmm. Maybe I just need to put some lace or something. Call that... Oh, that's good. I was kind of looking to see if there was something I could cut down a bit. Hmm. I do kind of want to use the Stuff that's in the kitchen, you know. Okay, let's see. What do I have for the thicker lace? This is probably too thick. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'll just go ahead and cover up the whole thing. Um, Mm. Not in love with it. I don't know. I'm going to have to work on this one. And I'm just about out of time. So, um... Things are hooked together. It's just a disaster in my in my laces. Just really need to do something about it. I was wondering about one of these. I don't know. Just a little lace across there. That's what I'm going to do, actually. Yep. That will be good. I am kind of wondering. Let me just look. I think I prefer it down a bit like that. All right. Well, it's just, oh, and then we can maybe put a word on it. Sorry if I go over today.
can't go over by much. I gotta go get my friend. <laughs> and I gotta help Mike fix the gutter. Oh boy, I better get going. You know, it's hard to fit in real life when you, all you want to do is craft. Anybody else have that problem? I definitely do. Here we go. I was thinking about one of these then right in the middle. Um, it's almost kind of a more like a scallop, but I think these scissors will do good. Scissors or Fiskers, they come in a set of a bunch. You can find them on Amazon. I got this pair at a garage sale. <laughs> like I get, that's where I get a lot of my tools, supplies, etc. I haven't been this year, though, and there were two vintage markets this weekend here, and yeah, I think I'll put that there. Um, I didn't go because we were going to Addie's Volleyball. So I'm sure I'm missing out on all sorts of wonders. Okay, I got to hold that for a second. Okay. Well, we got three done, so that was good for our little other Christmas journals we're doing. So there we go. There's that one. We'll pocket here and we'll pocket there and a little pocket on this side. Okay, well, thanks so much for crafting with me today, everyone. I hope you have a grateful day, and we'll just see you in the next video. Bye!